for you guys. Broken items. I love broken items. It's gold. It's silver. It's platinum. It's broken. It's junk to the original owner. They'll even give it to you for free. 50 cents a buck. And all you have to do is sell it for the precious metal. Or you guys can actually have it fixed. If it's a gold chain, oh boy, it costs you 30 bucks to fix it at your local jewelry store. And you got a $500 chain for 30 bucks of fixing. I mean, what a sweet deal. So don't pass up those broken items. It can even be a setting with a stone removed out of it. That's precious metal too. Don't pass it up. Snap it up. Woohoo! Now let's take a look at some of the broken items that I'm talking about. Here's some broken items. These are the types of things I'm talking about. Whether they're broke chains, broke bracelets, or broke rings. They're valuable. They're still a precious metal. This broken bracelet was given to me for free by the owner at a yard sale. She didn't charge me a dime for it. And it is sterling silver. The mark is on this dolphin right there. So it's a valuable item. It's a precious metal. And it's a lot of precious metal. A lot of sterling silver in that bracelet. And this ring costs 50 cents. There's nothing wrong with it other than it's just got a little bit of a separation right there in the ring. And all it needs to do is be soldered back together. And then you'd have one of those fancy three rings into one. I love these rings. And for 50 cents, what a deal. All I gotta do is get it fixed. But to tell you the truth, even just putting it on my finger and wearing it, I don't even notice the break. So it's like getting three rings out of this one for 50 cents. It's not even squished. I hope I've got my point across and that you guys love broken items too. It's cheap, 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 precious metals for you. So don't pass them up, snap them up, and happy hunting.